All right. So let's start with our warm ups and do something for the neck shoulder area. See if we can loosen up that tightness. So toes straight ahead, pick them up, spread them out as you put them back down. Get spaces between your toes if you can. Make sure your knees are going toward your second toes. Get the weight distributed on the front and back of your feet evenly. Bring your shoulders back and down. <laughs> and get the core activated. So ribs towards your spine and up. Feel that lengthening and support through your lower back. And just let the shoulders relax and the crown reach toward the ceiling. Focus on the breath. Bringing in energy and awareness as you let the belly expand, the ribs expand, the collarbones rise. We've got breath in. And then exhale all the way down, empty the lungs. And just take a few breaths, getting that inner focus, getting ready for our practice. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out, keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back, keeping the heart open. Inhale, arms out to the front, but shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind you, just clasp the fingers together and push them toward the floor gently as you lift your heart. Spread your head back, but don't lift your chin too high. And lengthen through the spine. Pivot over as you exhale, right there at the hips. And come as deep into that forward position as you'd like. So hands up toward your head, getting those shoulders releasing a little bit more. Kind of move them around. Move your chin around to start releasing that neck area. And then bend your knees slightly. Drop your sitting bones and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up. And again, upper body back bend, lifting your chest and stretching your head back, but not the chin. Take a breath or two, feel that back bend lengthening while it back bends. And then inhale upright and release your arms. And just take a moment feeling that circulation begin increasing. Spread those toes even more and bring your arms again to shoulder level. Shoulders are down. Hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Hands toward the floor as you lift your heart, opening that chest, and pivot at your hips, coming over again. Once more, just let your body soften and sink into that forward position. Get the neck releasing, the hands moving toward the head for those shoulders to get a little bit more Spread your toes, bend your knees slightly. Keep the chin slightly toward your chest as you wind all the way up. And then again, lifting the heart, not rising the chin too much, just a little bit. And stretching out through the base of the skull as you come into the back bend. And then inhale upright, release your arms. And again, just take a moment noticing how that body is responding today. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Bring them past each other, turn them to clasp. Bring your arms back next to your ears. Pull your shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones down. Stretch up. Keep everything facing forward. No twisting as you lean to the side for those ribs to open. So keep the hips above the ankles and press out with the hands going further toward the side as much as they want. Remember, don't lean forward. You can look up slightly if you want to to make sure that you're not leaning toward the front. And then inhale back up, switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, spread your toes, stretch, keep things straight as you lean to the opposite side. Ribs opening, stretching way out, maximizing that opening through the side. Lateral spine movement. Inhale back upright and release your arms. Shoulders back and down just a couple times. 
and breathe as you get back into mountain pose. So we'll do our twist, and remember, we want the base of the skull down and the base of the up and the base of the spine down so that the bones of your spine stretch apart so they can twist, because that's our sixth, fifth and sixth movements for the spine. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, and clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch the spine apart, and twist to side one. Take a breath. And exhale over in that twist, coming into your forward position as far as you'd like. See if your arms are by your ears. Your weight is on both feet as evenly as you can, even though you're turned to one side. Take a moment there, maybe lift your sitting bones, and then inhale, working your way slowly back up in the twist. And then coming into the upper body only for the back bend, so never in that lower back as you're twisted. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Keep breathing and lengthening your spine. And on an inhalation, come up, turn to the center, and switch your arms around to balance things out. Stretch the spine apart again, and our number two twist going to the opposite side. Take a breath in. Pivot over as you exhale. And again, as deeply as you feel right today, check your weight on both feet. Check your arms by your ears still. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more. Keep breathing. And on an inhalation, work your way back up. Heart high as you come into that upper body for the back bend one more time. Take a breath, elbows back, shoulders down, and chest rising. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms up, shoulder width, coming into extended mountain. Sink evenly into both feet, feel the shoulders, notice what they're doing. Make sure that you're pulling the shoulders and shoulder blades down, even as you extend the fingertips up. And then keep the arms by your ears, pivot at your hips, come parallel to the floor with your upper body. Everything's straight. And then just drop and hang and ride dog. So arms down toward the floor or pulling in more behind your legs for that back stretch. And then arms to the front, knees slightly bent. And again, we'll wind up from the bottom of the spine, slowly coming up, bringing those shoulders up back and down a few times. Nice big circles with the shoulders. And then do one shoulder at a time and see if that gives a little different feeling. And then go the opposite way with the shoulders, bringing them slightly forward as you do that. And then again back. And then release your arms, coming back into mountain pose. Just take a moment, feel your body. Notice your belly. Bring the ribs around. So keep the shoulders above the hips and just work that lower back and rib area in circles. You can keep your fingertips on the ribs for that awareness, or you can release them if you prefer. And then go the other way, circling the ribs the opposite direction. Again, keeping those hips and shoulders as stable as you can, just working the midsection. And then we're going to emphasize that a little bit more. So bring your hands down to your hip joints and pivot a little bit forward. And then roll over to the side. Lengthen up through the chest as you look overhead. Come over to the other side. And then again, at the hips, coming all the way around to the front. And do that circle with your whole body. Again, circling all the way around. Feeling what your body does as you lift the heart, how that spine is working, the shoulders relaxed. And then stop the next time you come to the center of the front and reverse your circles. So again, lifting the heart as you come back. Rolling around to the side, coming down. 
all the way around, feeling those hips as that pivot point as you come to the front. And feeling that heart opening as you go to the back. And then pausing again at the front and coming back all the way up into mountain pose. Shoulders again, releasing to the back, dropping down. Chin into that front center indentation. And then roll the chin to one side, looking to the side, and then looking up to the ceiling, lifting the chin. Come to the center, look to the other side, drop the chin toward the shoulder, and again, roll it all the way into the center. Going around that circuit again, chin to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, into the center, toward the ceiling on the other side, going down, and rolling along the heart to the middle. And then reversing, going the other direction, to the side, to the top, the center, the other side, shoulder, all the way down to the middle. And again, that same direction, rolling all the way around, feeling that neck giving a little bit more rotation release, and all the way back to the center. And again, tipping your head back up. Shoulders back and down a couple of times once more, and get that shoulder area released. Arms to shoulder level, turn the palms up, spread the fingers, and some big circles for those shoulders. Spread your toes, no gripping with the feet. Keep reaching up, weight even on the front and backs of the feet and side to side. And then smaller circles, stretching the fingertips out. And then as you stop, turn the palms toward the floor and circle the other way. So again, start with those nice big circles, getting some circulation going through the shoulders. And then make the circles smaller and stop. Keep the arms at shoulder level, spread those toes out, reach the crown high, shoulders down, and push to one side. Get those ribs stretching apart, keep the hip over the foot. Back to the center, and go the other way, just moving that upper body to the side. And back to the center, turn the palms up, bring the hands overhead, Together and swan dive forward, hands coming out, palms toward the floor, right at shoulder level, pivot toward the front, stretch out. Keep those arms straight, right across from each other, and pivot, turning to one side. So arms stay across, turning the whole body in that twist. So remember those base of the skull, base of the spine move apart. And then pivot back to parallel to the floor, and pivot to the other side. Keep those arms as much straight across as you can. Stretch it out, turn your whole body to the side. And again, pivoting back parallel to the floor. Stretch those arms out and drop into right dog. Just let those arms hang heavy and long. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the back of your body a little bit more. Pull in with the hands behind your legs. Give yourself even more stretch. And then arms back to the front. And we'll do our wind up again. Slowly bend your knees. Work the bones of the spine one at a time back into place. Shoulders again back and down, coming into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there. Reach the crown up. And again, just arms loose at your side, moving side to side in our windmill position. So just follow the hands to one side and then around to the other side. Keep the spine lengthening. Keep those knees soft and that weight on both feet as evenly as you can as you just go a little deeper toward the back at each end of that circuit. Keep breathing with it. Just relaxing. And then back to the center. And let's do that backstroke and swimming again for the arms. So get the arms coming in close to your ears. They come around. Feel your whole spine work. Feel that whole shoulder area work as well. And 
And then release the arms back to your side. Tip the chin down into that throat center. Let the back of your neck stretch a little bit. Keep the rest of your body straight in mountain pose. Keep that core activated, supporting your spine. Arms relaxed. And then bring one hand up and then the other to the back of your head. Remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight stretching out the neck. Take a breath. Exhale, just really release through that neck. Let it get a good stretch as you're relaxing. Feel that deepening. And then release your hands and tip your chin back up. Lift your chin, but lift the base of the skull at the same time. So keep lengthening through the neck area as you look overhead. And then again, we're going to bring the hands up one at a time to your forehead. No pressure, just a little extra weight. Elbows out toward the sides. And just feel the back of the neck, but keep stretching it out, not down. Keep lengthening through the whole spine. Shoulder blades where? Toward your waist. And then releasing your hands. And tipping your head back upright. Bring your arms to shoulder level, palms to the front. Bring the arms out toward each other. Clasp the fingers together and then turn the palms away from you. And push out through the bottoms of the heels of the palms and the whole bottom palm area of your hands. Keep the arms at shoulder level. Keep everything else in mountain pose. Keep that core supporting your spine. And then bring both arms up as much as they want to go. If they get all the way toward the ceiling, that's fine. But keep the arms next to the ears if that happens. And then bring them back up parallel to the floor. Straight out in front of you. Shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Palms out. Pushing away. And then release and switch the hands so the fingers go over one position and press away again. And once again, arms are shoulder level, pressing out through the whole bottom palm of your hand area, bottom of your heel with the palms, really pressing it out. And again, rotating those shoulders, coming all the way up as much as you can next to your ears if that works keep pushing out through the palms and again slowly rotating back to the front and release and just shake it out and then tip an ear over toward one side keep both shoulders relaxing Feel the stretch going on the opposite side. Just let it relax and happen. Remember, keep both shoulders down. And then bring the side you're tipping toward hand up. Again, weight, not pressure on the side of your head. Let that relax and maximize as much as it wants. But keep everything relaxing. Push the fingertips of the other hand down toward the floor or flex the hand. Push the heel with the palm down for a little more stretch if that works on that side for you. Take a breath. And then the hand that's down, let it relax. The one on your head, bring it back down. Tip your head upright. Shoulders back and down. Feel what's going on. We need to, of course, work the other side. So ear over to the other shoulder. Again, only go as far as feels right for you, and then just relax. Keep the both shoulders down. Keep the core supporting, and relax as you go into that stretch. Bring the hand you're tipping toward up. And again, just relax, letting that opposite neck stretch a little bit more. Push the fingertips down if you want even more. Remember, no pressure on the head, just a little weight. Heel of the palm flexed if you want even more. 
Just let it release any tension. Keep breathing. Let it stretch. Keep both shoulders down. And then release the hand that's down and the one from your head. Tip the head back up. Feel the sides of your neck a little bit more released and stretch. Bring your arms again to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Put one hand up, come up on the opposite toe so that heel is rising. You put your stretch inside your stretching foot space flat. So really reach up through those fingertips. Feel that shoulder area open. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one. And again, up on that toe area, lifting the heel of the other foot. Exhale and release. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and release. Once more on the other side. And then both feet down, both arms up. Clasp your hands, press the palms again toward the ceiling, shoulders down. And then lean to the side. No twist, just let that whole side stretch open, push the foot you're leaning away from down. Inhale back to the center, keep pressing out through the palms and lean to the other side. And again, pressing out through the palms evenly. Keep the body facing the front, feel those ribs opening as you push your foot down a little bit more. And then again, inhaling to the center, bring those arms straight out in front of you, shoulders down, palms to the front, and release, shake it out. Hands to prayer position. We'll look at your hands as you inhale them toward the ceiling, a nice little back bend. Let's swan dive, so bring those arms out, palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips, that parallel to the floor, stretch it out. Keep those hands stretching through the fingers and the crown and the sitting bones reaching away. And then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Move the shoulders one up and one down. Reach that hand that goes down toward the toes. Keep the knees as straight as they want to be. And then slide the hands up under your knees on your shins and stretch and straighten the back. Exhale, release the hands back down and wind your way all the way up. Shoulders back and down. Again, into mountain pose. Let's do a quick balance practice. So get your favorite balance foot grounded. Make sure that your knee is going toward your second toe. Everything aligned, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Core active, crown to the ceiling, shoulders back and down. When you're ready, keep that core supporting your spine as you bring that other leg up. Don't cross it over. Just bring it up a little or more or pull it in toward your chest. And circle your ankle when you're stable. Getting that ankle flexibility working for you. And then flex and point and put it back down. Shift to the other side and we'll balance on the opposite foot. So same thing, get everything aligned and supporting, core activated, and bring the other leg up. Again, pull it in as far as it wants to go this time and circle your ankle both ways, flex and point, and release. And then separating the feet just a little, angling the toes out, the knees going still toward the toes, so the whole leg is opening. Bend your knees slightly, not beyond your toes, hands above your knees, position don't support, so no pressure in your hands. We're gonna do that twist, bringing the shoulder over toward that opposite knee. So push the hip away as you bring the shoulder across. Keep the spine turning slightly toward that side you're moving toward. And then straighten things out, come back to the center. 
and turn to the opposite side, knee toward, shoulder toward the knee, and hip going the other way. Turning your body slightly in that twist. So remember those bones are stretching a bit. And then again, back to the center. And tucking your chin, pull those ribs in, and wind your way back up. Shoulders back and down, feet turning to the front. And again, back into that pose. Hands to your heart. Look at them and bring them toward the ceiling. Inhaling into a back bend, lifting your heart, follow those thumbs back. Exhale, follow the thumbs all the way to your heart, pivot at your hips. Exhale over in the red dog. Slide up into that halfway up stretch, shoulder blades toward your waist, stretch the sitting bones and crown away. And then bending your knees, come all the way to the floor, transitively into cross pose. Take a breath. Exhale. Breath. Let those shoulders drop. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels. One more for our shoulders. So bring your hands behind you. Clasp the fingers gently, pressing the palms together. Push the hands, knuckles down toward the floor, roll up, shoulders open, shoulder blades down further toward your waist, look up toward the ceiling, lifting your heart. Exhale, pivot over. So you're pivoting at your hips. You can raise your hips if you need to. And bring your forehead down toward the floor, hands up toward your head. So the more you get your hands toward your head, the more those shoulders are working. So be gentle if you need to. Take a breath, exhale into it. And then as you inhale, bring your face forward and your hands down toward your hips as you rise back up into your kneeling position. Release your hands and switch them over one position with fingers, other finger outside. And again, opening your heart, press those knuckles again toward the floor as you look up. Keep stretching through the back of your neck as you do that. Exhale, come pivoting forward. Again, hands coming up as your head comes down toward the floor. Let's bring those hands toward your head a little bit further as much as your shoulders want to work on this side. Take a breath. And again, relax. Inhaling, face forward, hands toward your hips, sitting back up on your heels. And releasing your hands, slide off, feet to the end of the mat, into staff position, core active, as you roll slowly onto the floor. And just a little reclined integration as you get there, getting ready for a quick little twist before our final relaxation. So bring your arms to T position, palms up or down, your choice. We're just going to do our bent knee twist. So sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, heels in near your hips, feet flat, shoulders down, and feet up, knees right above your hips. You can cross your knees, cross your leg over if you want a little extra low back here. And bring your knees over to one side as you roll your head to look toward the opposite body. And just deepen into that as much or as little as your body wants to do today. Taking a breath, just relaxing. All the tension out as you allow the twist to happen, don't force it. Knees toward the floor, put some padding there if you need it from your lower back. Shoulders down to that middle back, that journey for that neck area. Just gently breathing and relaxing. And then heels toward your hips and roll onto your back, knees right above your hips one more time. And roll the knees to the opposite side as you turn your head toward that other arm. Again, keep those shoulders on the floor, knees coming down as far as they want to go. Breathing and relaxing into your twist on this side. Deep breaths, just relaxing, letting everything deepen as much as your body wants 
lower back twist, middle back twist, and neck area twist. Take a breath, relaxing into it. And again to release, heels toward your hips, rolling out to your back, and feet to the floor, sliding them out, and then into corpse position for our final relaxation. Shoulders down, hands, palms up slightly away from your sides. Set your body soft and in sync. Draw your toes slightly toward each other and let them separate into just a natural position. Move your head around with that neck and shoulder area. You can see if you move those shoulders a little bit after all that shoulder work today. And release them down into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths, letting your body sink as it grows heavier, deepening into that earth support, and let your body go. As your body relaxes and softens, deepening into that earth embrace, allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as you do, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. Allowing the thoughts to drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. The thoughts are unneeded at this moment. Just let them release from your awareness completely. Deep breaths in, exhaling, relaxing, sinking into that surface beneath you as your mind drifts freely. And take a few moments just focusing on that inner peace, letting it fill your body and your body and your being. If you're lucky enough to have time for a longer relaxation today, take as much time as you have the opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, you can draw an energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, begin stretching your body just gently, however feels good for you today. Moving gently through your arms and shoulders and on the rest of your body as well. As you breathe more deeply, you've been stretching more fully. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels up to your hips, and knees up towards your chest. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to one side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.